Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. And I'm here today to share with you another thought about words. You know, those sounds that come out of our mouth or those things that we scribble on a piece of paper that others read. And I've talked some about how that works and I've got some more to say today from Proverbs chapter 13 and verses 18 and 19, we find these words. <laughs> Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. Well, there are two different things here. Excuse me. One is what people say, and the other is how they say it. Let's look at the second one first. Some people make cutting remarks. I hope you haven't ever done that. Or at least I hope you don't do it very often. And if you are, stop. It doesn't do any good. I know sometimes people put other people down because they want to make themselves look good. Well, that doesn't work. Sometimes people like to put people down to show them how smart they are. But that doesn't work either. It's just here that some people make cutting words. But the words of the wise bring healing. The goal in our speech is to bring healing, to communicate something worth listening to. Now, I know in our political environment and in the general culture around us, there are a lot of things that are not said to bring healing. Uh, almost every time you, you think about something that's happened, people are being very negative in their words. And because this is happening during the, the end of the, what do you call it, political election cycle, Oh, gosh, those advertisements are just awful. It seems like the nastier you, you can say something about someone, the more votes you're supposed to be able to get. But we ought to speak words that bring healing. Jesus was about healing. He wasn't about putting people down. Oh, occasionally he did that with the hypocrites. But with all the others, he was trying to make them something that they weren't, or they thought they weren't, which were full, outstanding human beings. And so the words that come out are intended to bring healing and help, not injury. And then it goes on to say that truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. Well, I hope you're not someone who lies. I've met a lot of them. Some of them, people who are really close to me, don't tell the truth. I was talking to a fellow the other day about this piece of property and and he wanted to know about it. I told him what little I knew and I said, you know, the guy who owns it wasn't real honest in the past about it. And I said, if you wanna pursue this, you gotta, you gotta be really careful. And the guy says, yeah, if, if he'll be dishonest one time, he'll be dishonest another time. I said, yeah. People who can't tell the truth 
just can't tell the truth. And eventually, it says here, they will be exposed. Now, I have to tell you, sometimes I, I wish they'd get exposed a little bit faster than they are getting exposed. But that's God's problem, not mine. Truthful words stand the test of time. And these words here are talking about you and me, or these verses here. Are we telling things that last the truth, or are we telling lies that are made up or in the political world spun correctly? You know, I, I really hate that idea. It's not a matter of changing the truth. It's a matter of how you say it so you can convince people that they think the way you want them to think. That's not what God does. Jesus never did that. And he always lifted people up, except for the hypocrites. Now, I grant you, he wasn't all that kind to the hypocrites, scribes, Pharisees, folks like that. And if, if that's who you are, well, all I can say is I hope not, because <laughs> that's certainly not what God wants. So for you and me, we need to be careful what comes out of our mouth. Because what comes out of our mouth comes out with power. Power to heal or power to condemn. Power to be honest or power to lie. What's coming out of your mouth? What will come out tomorrow? What will come out the next day? Words are important, friends. And they make a huge difference, not only in your life, but in the life of those you encounter. So today, take a few minutes and think about what you're saying. And be aware, you have the power to heal with what comes out of your mouth. I don't mean physical healing. And you might have that too. But the power to change somebody's life. You really do. Think about it. Thanks for listening. If you have a concern or a need that we can help with, please let us know. And we'll do everything we can, as fast as we can, to help meet your need. God bless you. I'll be back tomorrow with another passage about words.